everyone welcome back to the channel and to a little mini travel series because we are currently on our way to Centre Park's Elverdon Woo! Forest Woo! <laughs> we're all very excited as you can probably hear it's Friday so we're here for the Friday to Monday long weekend and yeah we've got lots of fun things booked I'm excited to just explore relax kind of switch off and just be like in the forest for a weekend hopefully we see some little deers and monk jack we've got our duck food I hope, we see some deer. I hope we see some deers as well but yeah we're, we're here with friends as well so it's gonna be super fun we're about 10 minutes away now it's not far if you're new here then my name's charlotte i'm traveling with my family with my partner rob and daughter paisley who you'll no doubt see shortly and our channel is all about our family adventures fun lifestyle travel and yeah i hope you enjoy this little travel series please do be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it So we're allowed on site from 10 a.m which is really really good it's just gone 11 now so we should have like a whole day of fun we can get into our lodge from 2 p.m i think it's usually four but we paid a little bit extra for early check-in just to give us the opportunity to get in our lodge and unpack and everything like that before the fun starts and we're just in line now actually there's not too many people here so would you reckon this will be about five minutes 10. 10, five ten minutes yeah. and then we're in and i think first on the agenda we're going to go to the swimming pool for a few hours while we wait to get to our lodge it, look, whoa, it looks amazing i love how it's like a drive-through check-in i think that's really cool this is going faster than we thought as well and rob's already seen a deer haven't you like as soon as we pulled Outside. in yeah he saw his bum going into the bushes <laughs> so i think hopefully hopefully we'll see some more Right, we're all signed in. We've got our map and we've been told where to go and park. So we're gonna get parked up. Um, you leave the cars here in the car park until it's check-in time and then we're allowed to move the car when the gates open at four o'clock. So just gonna take our swim bag, go swimming. We've got a room key as well. I think this is gonna be our key to get in like for the swim lockers and stuff. And our friends have got the rest of them. So it feels kind of like a magic band. All parked up. I love it. I love being in the forest and like the wilderness. It just feels so nice, so, so refreshing. I think we're just going by the bike, yeah, the cycle centre, making our way over to the swimming pool area. Yeah, we've just been telling the girls about the cold plunge pool. Who's going to the plunge pool? You are, are you? Oh my gosh, you're braver than me, you guys. Here we go, we've got a nice big map and we're going to the village square this way guys look at this weather oh my gosh i feel so lucky all those geese hey you what are you up to what's she up to paisley Right, we've made our way to the swimming pool. Gonna get ready, gonna have our dip, and I'll catch up with you guys after. So, we had such a fun time at the swimming pool. Literally, there's everything you need. A wave pool, lazy river, flumes, wild rapids, which were so wild. They were quite funny, actually. The girls loved it, and we've just come over and found our lodge. It's just gone two o'clock, so we're in the pool for a good few hours, and before we, like, get fully unpacked and everything. I thought I would just give you guys a nice room tour. We're in Oak 919 in a three bedroom new style lodge and Imagine it's lovely. Place. It's so nice, I'm like so impressed. And we've already seen a deer outside the window. Literally the neighbors were feeding him like monkey nuts. So that was cute. Let me give you a tour. So here's home for the next few nights. It's so cute, like literally opposite back there. It's a great big lake with all geese and everything. So yeah, we've got the outdoor bit where you'd put like your bikes and stuff. When we get the cars, we've got the girls scooters, which we'll lock up there most likely. And then we come in, we've got like, a boiler room or something. Um, fire extinguisher, and then come straight through 
into the dining area. So you've got seating in front, two, three, four, five, six. This lodge sleeps six as well, I think. It's got three bedrooms, as I said before. You've got the little kitchen, full oven, full like sink. I think there's a dishwasher as well. Coffee machine, microwave, toaster, little bit of everything we need. That looks like the um, Ruby from Teenage Cracker in your one Penelope. That's really cool. Yeah, chalkboard that said welcome to 191 but very sharpishly got taken over by girls. <laughs> this is the single bedroom. This is where the girls will be sleeping. So that's your one, is it? So they've got two singles. So they've got a little light each, a little wardrobe each. A nice view of the outside. Mirror, nice plant. All the bedrooms have got TV, which is handy. Hair dryers as well in each bedroom and USB plugs there between the two beds. All the rooms are also en suite. If I can find the light switch. Oh, that's not working at the moment. I need to look into that. But yeah, you've got just like a standard toilet sink, big mirror and a very large walk-in shower. Towel rail, which is good. And then we've got our little living room area. A nice big couch. That's cute. Big centre park forestry on the wall there. Little chair, lamp, coffee table, a fire. I don't think we'll be needing that this trip because we are being very, very blessed with the weather. Um, you've got the TV, more like USBs and plug sockets. Little built-in telly. That's quite cool, isn't it? And then there's two more bedrooms. I don't think we've allocated yet. Don't write that on there, you monkey. <laughs> you cheeky. Yeah. We just found the master light switch and now lights are working, which is always good. Um, this is one of the master bedrooms. So you've got a big old bed. That's either a... I'd say that's a king over a double. I'm not 100% sure, I'm guessing, but it's big. It's a nice size. Um, again, the mirror with the getting ready stool and the hairdryer. Nice mirror above the bed. Big wardrobe and shelving in this one. TV and the bathroom in here there's another big walk-in shower nice makeup lights on the mirror toilet roll and everything is included which I wasn't actually sure about we did bring some just in case yeah the last room has got the bed they're all pretty much the same to be honest which is good when we're all sharing so we can all have a similar room this one's also got the storage here and the wardrobe oh this one has a bathtub rather than the shower. It looks like quite a nice bath as well. Um, there's a picture of the midnight forest there. There's a thing for shavers, lots and lots of towels, another heated towel rail. Lovely. Oh, and a TV. Have I shown you guys the TV? There it is. There's the TV. And then we come out from our living room to our little outside bit. So you've got the outside table and chairs, the barbecue thingy. We have got like some barbecue trays that we're gonna utilize this with. And then we've actually got a sauna, which we haven't like opened or anything yet, I don't think. Let's have a look. Oh my word. Oh, I'm sure we'll be having a little look in here later. And yeah, just a moment ago, the little deer on Monk Jack was just around here. He was just, oh, he's still there. Whoops, I think I scared him. Oh no, the pigeon did. He's just gone back into that bush. Rob's the deer whisperer. Is he? <laughs> I don't think they respond to whistles, babe. Is he coming? Hi, Angel! Hi, cutie pie! Do you want to cuddle? Come on! Absolutely not. So yeah, perfect. A really, really good size. Really good for like two families of three, which is amazing. Love that we've all got en suite. That's a really good factor. And yeah, really, really nice, lovely little lodge. So as I say, we've got to wait till four o'clock until we can bring the cars around properly unload. We did think about like walking some bits over here, but it's it's heavy. There's just no point. We might as well just wait an hour and then do it. So we're gonna explore like around the area. I've got something really cool to show you as well, guys. So I've been talking to a really lovely lady called Yvonne on Instagram, and look what she has had delivered to our room. Little cupcakes, like all personalized, and a Prosecco. 
How amazing is that? Let me open it up so I can show you a bit better. There's a cupcake with my face on it, guys. Me at Halloween Horror Nights, Cinderella Castle, Halloween Horror Nights, Monsters Unmasked, Mini Ears, my Universal Bum Bag, Mickey Mouse. How cute are they? Literally amazing, and we are peckish as well, so we're literally gonna eat one right now. So thank you so much, Yvonne, that's so thoughtful and kind. Got some visitors. Hello, young men. Hello. You like my duck food? We bought our duck food with us. I'll show you in a minute. Like, literally got it off Amazon for a massive great tub for like six pounds, but is that yummy, is it? I just threw some out to them. They ate it, and then they come waddling up the path again, didn't you? You hungry boys. Here's our um, premium duck and swan food. No wonder they liked it so much. All three litres of it from Amazon will be enough to feed every single duck on the premises, I think. Okay, so the girls are just chilling like in the lodge with Laura. The boys have walked to the car to get some of the cases and stuff in, which is super handy because the um, lady told us when we were checking in that at four o'clock when the gates open it's like carnage like well, she didn't say it was carnage but she said it's really busy and there will be a line of cars trying to get people's cars to their lodges to unpack so we thought if we can do that quickly now because our lodge is quite near the car park then let's get it done and then that's one job done and i'm just walking down to the supermarket to grab some urgent bits like milk you know so we can make a cup of tea and stuff like that the girls need a snack we have bought meals and barbecue stuff and everything with us oh squirrel hello hello mate hello hello hi angel yeah i don't know where i got to then I got distracted by a squirrel um <laughs> i'm like dug off of up squirrel um yeah We've got meals and stuff with us. We've got barbecue stuff with us as well. So we're quite sorted food wise. It's just these little few bits that we couldn't bring like milk. So I volunteered to go because I love a supermarket. I'm gonna have a little look around, grab these bits and then head on back. Here we go. Just got down to the main village bit. We've got the supermarket here, the park market and that probably took about five minutes if that. Okay, I'm back at our lodge and it literally took 10 minutes. I timed it on the way back. So 10 minutes to get down to the village area. 10 minutes to get back i do walk quite quickly so i imagine when we go later with the girls it'll take a little bit longer although we do have their scooters so we'll see and yeah the prices in the shop are obviously inflated because we're like captive audience as you'd expect but the barbecue trays were eight pounds each or two for 14 pounds so i'm super glad i got those before we came they were from um home bargains i think 1.99 each so it saved a few dollars there and yeah we had to get some shampoo that was five pounds so definitely bring with you everything that you can um we've bought all our meals and stuff and everything and we're cooking up a nice chicken spaghetti pasta now and then once we've had dinner we're actually going back over to the village area i think to the sports bar and we've got a family quiz so yeah we all need to do a little bit of um reading up in a minute gonna read through sky news i'm gonna read some like general knowledge facts and we're gonna try and <laughs> try and make ourselves brainy in the next half an hour so that we win the quiz so we've got some um scooter locks so we can put our scooters like in the bike rack things we're just trying to set them up <laughs> why do they even have led like they when i was buying it it said on it like it was something special that they had so they can do it in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> it just said like led like it was something good but i don't think it's necessary um yeah we could even park these outside because we have got the bike racks just out there yeah we're just cooking up our dinner as i said what are you drawing girls criminals oh my gosh okay
Right, we're just walking down now to the village to go to our quiz and hopefully win. <laughs> Someone's got a barbie on, we can smell it already. This is just so lovely being in the forest. So, so nice. The girls are up ahead on their scooters. People are still dropping things off in cars, so we do need to just be mindful. But yeah, loving it. Trying out our new scooter lock with the snazzy LED for they're the first they, time. They, they, they do work, darling. How was it having your scooter? Was um, it fun? Yeah. Here at the big family quiz, which is in the sports cafe. Just trying to think of a name for our team. We've got the winners. But what if we're not the winners? What if we don't win? <laughs> Smart in here. There's an app that we're getting to put our answers in and team pictures. We've got a little booth with all flags and stuff. Very cool. We're in the UK charts at the same time with different songs, both called Angel Eyes. Roxy Music were one of them, but what was the name of the other group? Robbie. Song with the same title, Angel Eyes, 1979. <gasps> Hey guys, it's the next morning now. It's Saturday, it's about nine o'clock. Not actually sure where I left you last night, probably back at the quiz at the sports bar. That was so much fun, like, we didn't win. We may have came <coughs> 19th out of like, out of about 23, but we didn't lose, so that's the main thing. And it was definitely a lot of fun. The girls really enjoyed it. There was like a family section where they did Disney and cartoons and stuff, so you'd think I'd excel there, but I didn't, so <laughs> the girls did well though, and it was a lot of fun. So we're all up and ready, and we've been That's having a lot of fun. <laughs> what you got there? Been having fun with the deers, haven't we? The monkey yes. jack with our monkey nuts for our monkey jack. Yes. And he actually just came like in the lodge, didn't he? Yes. And we fed them like from our hands. They really like us, don't they? And who else came in? Squirrel. The squirrel came all the way in. So basically, you can just call me Snow White because all the wildlife is coming. <laughs> I am. I am enticing all the wildlife. Snow White. <laughs> and it's just so lovely. So yeah, we're gonna go to Crazy Golf. Yep. Crazy Golf next, and then I think we've got segways later. It's a lovely day. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Here's our mate. He sniffed me. Did he actually? We're going to have to buy some more nuts. I should really Google, are they good for them? It was the lady next door that said they like them. And I guess they're natural, so they should be. Look, more hens coming as well. Creeping out that bush, hello. Literally living our best lives with these creatures, aren't we? We had a daddy monk jack earlier come and he had yeah. horns and tusks and teeth. There we go. Oh, sweet darling. You're not scared of us anymore, are you? Oh, what a mate. You are adorable. Right, should we go to golf then, girls? So we've got our itinerary. This is what we did when we were like planning and booking and stuff. So we've got adventure golf at 10, um, Segway, we're gonna do barbecue and then some swimming. And then tomorrow we've got baby owls, the cat a canoe, the chocolate making class, and some swimming yeah. again. So we're just bagging up some duck food to take with us so we can feed the ducks on the beach. And I think, she's still up. <laughs> Paisley's making friends with the ducks now. Hello, mate. Hello. You all right? Um, he, he, he licked me when I had no food in my hand. <coughs> what, the duck or the deer? The deer. Oh. Hey. It's quite good because we've got a telephone box, like the emergency help point, literally opposite our house. So it's a good reference point when we're coming back and not really sure where we're going don't run rub over but today girls in theory there won't be any cars about apart from the like cleaning vans and stuff i guess so are you ready for some golf i'm gonna win i'm gonna win <laughs> made it down to Adventure golf at Treasure Island. It's right next to the beach area. <coughs> Everyone's out on their boats. It's so beautiful. So lucky with this weather. They sell all like um, beachy stuff here as well. And yeah, gonna head on over to Treasure Island. We're at the first hole. It's already been. That was good. Hey, good job. 
We've already had a little bit of cheating. <laughs> nice and gentle, baby. That's three. I thought that was two. Yeah, that was two. <laughs> gentle. Oh, nearly, baby. That is not fair. The, the hole's tilted. The hole's fine. Good job. Well done. This is such a good adventure golf course. Like it's all in the shade. You've got lovely views of the lake and everything. The courses are really, really, really like well themed. It's just really nice. I'm really glad we've done this. I've never done the golf here before. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, nearly sunshine. I'm reading my green. <laughs> Look at this for you guys over the lake. You can just about see the um, lakeside really, really cool ones. That would be the dream. The sun shining on the water. So nice. Can't wait to get out there tomorrow on our cata canoe. Right, that's golf done. It's so much fun, wasn't it? Really good fun. I really like that. The girls got a bit competitive, so we've decided not to see who the winner is and just play for fun, which I didn't know. <laughs> Shout, who's the winner there? <laughs> but it's fine. We're going to go up to the park, aren't we? Via the um, sports plaza place. Maybe I'm, I'm get a not. little snack. No? Well, we're going to go there, but I'm not... Going on the park? Going on the no, park. We're not going... No, the kids are going on the park. We're going to go chill. Look how nice this beach is today. It's so beautiful. The boats look lovely. So many ducks and geese. Oh, the girls have forgotten we've got duck food on us. That's okay. We can do it later. Hello little angel, hello. Right, here's the boathouse, we're just passing by and all the different types of boating things you can do. So we've gone with the Kata canoe. So that's up to six people. Our, our only choice is if we all wanted to go together was the electric boat or the Kata canoe. So we went Kata canoe. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. But yeah, we booked it all online before we came. Are you excited for boating tomorrow? Yeah. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? Just opposite the boathouse, looks like where we all load up and get life jacketed and stuff. So, I think you know where we're going tomorrow now. Go on. <laughs> Woo, you got it, darling. Do you want mummy to catch you or are you going to drop? Good job. Right, we're back at our lodge with some lunch and the monk jacks are actually out here waiting for us, which is so cute. Literally, they love us. But yeah, I thought Segways was at like 12, but it's about 2 o'clock instead, 2.15 I think. And we also want to get the girls some I leggings to protect their legs whilst they're doing Segway. So that's the plan of action. Lunch, rest, Segway, swim, barbecue. Um, then we think there's a disco, but we're not entirely sure. So we need to do a little bit of researching into whether or not there is a disco and if there is, when this disco may be. So yeah. The weather's beautiful. Somebody's actually barbecuing already. That smells delish. And these little monk jacks are just the best thing ever. Oh, you beautiful little darling. Darling. So I was gonna say that we've got some new friends, but they've come to my door and are hissing at me. Only one of them are hissing. I think, I think they may be babies. Are you a baby? The black one oh! hissing at me. Yeah, that's probably a black. That's probably a black. Oh! Your beak is sharp. Why are you doing that? Be gentle. Black one's hissing. Is it the mummy hissing? Who's doing that? It's the black one. They're definitely all babies. Your babies. It's the one in the window. Your babies. That's fine then. We're heading back through. Sports Plaza. I think we're going to go back outside past the calf the other way, looking for where we go Segway, aren't we, darling? And we've changed the girls into long legs because we saw another little girl earlier who had grazed legs who fell off the Segway. So we're going to be extra careful. We've got our bike helmets, and yeah, I think it's going to be fun. She's not done Segways before. <laughs> Just passing by all the um, like what's it called? What? Go AP type stuff the aerial challenge and we're going past the drop which looks crazy and of course Paisley wants to do it we're not booked on and I don't know if she can be allowed because this looks kind of insane we just saw just whoa here she goes 
Oh goodness, it all jumps out. <laughs> there she is. It doesn't look that bad actually when they do it. Just quite scary. Right, these girls are just having their induction for Woodland Wheelers. We got quite confused because on our like itinerary, it said go to the back of the sports plaza, which we were like looping but couldn't see Woodland Wheelers. Whenever we were asking for help, we were asking for guidance to the Segway area. So Woodland Wheelers is like the little kids Segway, but actual Segways was over at the, what do they call it? The outdoor sports activity, activity centre, centre, which by is out park on by where we came in. So we were like, oh my God. And the security guy's like, yeah, I think you've missed it. Oh, great, <laughs> excellent. But no, we're here, we found it in the end and they're just having their little induction. They've got the whole session to themselves, which is actually really cute. And I think it's about 20 minutes they get, isn't it? I can't remember how much this one was. If I can find it, I'll pop it on the screen below. But yeah, they're both quite excited. Right, how was the Segway experience? Great, really good. 10 out of 10. It was brilliant. I bought my own Segway. Do you? And the guy, Jake, who was teaching you, he was really good, wasn't he? He let us have a little bit extra because it wasn't very booked up today. You've been in there nearly, nearly an hour on them Segways you got. And let's see what you got, Penelope. Well, we I all got a badge. We got a pin, didn't we, to say that you are Segway champions. So well done, girls. That was so much fun. What are we doing now then? Swimming! Come back to our lodge nice, following uh, our swim. The girls had so much fun, they literally loved the swimming pool. It was hot in there today though, really, really hot. I know it's like a subtropical paradise and it's like 29 degrees at best times, but because it's warm outside today, it was really, 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 really warm. But yeah, we're back now and it's barbecue time. Monk Jack wasn't waiting for us this time, which was unfortunate, but I'm hoping he comes back. He might smell a barbecue and think, Oh yeah, I'll go see those guys. <laughs> they got good food. But yeah, we've got like sausages, burgers, chicken, and we've just put the oven on. We're gonna heat some up in there and then put it on the little barbecue things outside. So that'll be a nice treat. And then as I think I said earlier, we've got the disco in a bit. So we'll head back over. Like, <laughs> it's tiring. Central Park's really tiring. I'm almost doing Disney amount of steps. I'm on like 14,000, I think. We've got another there and back to go yet which i guess is why people get bikes so next time we might rent bikes but for this time adults walking kids on scooters is working quite well I'm looking forward to some dinner there we go got some hot coals going on that's the thing they give us to like put the barbecues on which is such a good idea really and then there's like a bin out from where you take them once they've cooled down and everything we'll probably pour water on them or something later on and then run them around when they're really really cool um, but yeah, they're working really well actually for little home bargain specials. <coughs> Rob, one seems more lively than the other. Are they both okay, do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Left the boys on meat duty. <laughs> yeah, quite smoky, isn't it? Mm. Bags. The chicken skewers look good. Did they go in the oven first too? Mm. Got some halloumi. Sausages are going to be coming. The fat off the burgers is making Oh, it is that making better. it go? Yeah. yeah. I suppose there's no fat coming off the that, chicken. That one's not really doing that. <laughs> Centre Park's <laughs> feast. We got chicken, burgers, halloumi, hot dogs. One of the sides of the halloumi took off. Lovely, well done boys. Right, it's disco time. We're heading back down to the village and we've just come across the geese from earlier. And I think these ones are even younger than the ones that came to our door. Hello, sweet darlings. Barbecue was super good, by the way, like literally delicious oh you're so fluffy hi babies you're so beautiful look at you sweetie pie oh <laughs> family outing they're all going for a walk are you coming to the disco the goose disco are you coming with me hey that's the woman with the snacks oh sorry we found a baby. There's so many monk jack. We think this is mummy. And then just behind the spotty one. 
she's so tiny. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, tiny darling. Right, we made it to the sports calf. Not this way, and it's the wrong way. So we're going back out here to look for the disco. Right, so come on girls, we're going to this disco. We're watching a bit of the badminton. So it's up those stairs, right over there, over this bridge opposite Sports Cafe. Come on, disco, 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 disco. Here we go, Leisure Bowl and House of Games. So, this disco, a bar area, it's like a clubhouse kind of vibe. Um, there's arcade and stuff as well, but it looks over the swimming pool, which is cool. I didn't even know this existed. Very nice. This is how the disco is going. We think it's a bit young and we're a bit too cool for school these days. So, we do a little bit of colouring instead. But yeah, it's lovely. There's a whole big bowling alley up here, snooze hugs, an outside terrace. I'm really glad we found this. Sunday morning in our lodge. Bacon time. We just turned around and he's waiting. Hello, darling. Can you spoil that bacon? Should I see if I got you a monkey net? Let's see what we can do. Hello, sweetie. You're brave today, aren't you? Oh, you oh sorry. Come here. Darling, I'm sorry I dropped it. I got moisturizer on my hands. Have you had enough? So that's not bacon. There you go, sweet pea. Sunday morning, we're up bright and breezy because the girls have got hair braiding booked in down in the like sports hall pavilion -y area. I think it's about nine pounds each, and we booked it yesterday afternoon. So they had lots of availability, but yeah, we're booked in for nine and nine fifteen, and then we've got boating at ten. So I think us girls are going to head on down there. We're going to take the scooters, and then the boys are going to meet us for boating a bit later because they obviously don't need to come for hair braiding and i'll get a drink or something from starbucks i think as well while we're down there we've actually got a super fun day planned today so i'm looking forward to taking you guys along are we ready for braids pretty gals yeah it's raining a little bit well it has been but it's due to brighten up soon so hopefully it'll be nice and blue by the time it's boat time right so we're here at the hair braiding station what colours did you go for, darling? We've got like a purple, blue, a yellow. Silver, amazing. Nice and bright. Um, yes, yeah, so it's just here, face painting and hair braiding opposite the badminton. It's still nice and early. It's about quarter past nine, so it's quite quiet in here today. Um, so they also have teddy bear making, priceless, 31 pounds. Oh, that's with the outfit. That's quite good. Paisley's curious about this because if you watch our Butlin series, she did a little fox there, so she likes it. We'll see. We've got the gift shop as well, which we're going to have a look around later. And then all the craft rooms as well, which is where the girls will come for their chocolate masterclass later. They've got a lot on already, which is quite good because some things don't open until 10, like the supermarket and the shops and stuff. But it does seem like there's still quite a lot to do early doors there's kids up on that climbing wall and everything so yeah it's good we're early birds so suits us and i think we're gonna go over to starbucks and chill once these braids are done right look at these braids so you've gone for like a purple a black silver like a midnight kind of one haven't you and you've gone for a bright funky one we've got some chocolate cake pops which we've discovered here at Starbucks, is it yummy, darling? Oh my gosh, all in one! Just come like past the badminton courts, round to the back of the sports bar, and I've realised that this is what we were looking out on the other day when we were doing our family quiz. So it's the roller rink and like the inflatable football thing. The table tennis is over here as well. I don't think I've ever been down this area, but it looks really cool. And then these booths here. They're the booths in the sports cafe restaurant, which is where we did our quiz. So we have found a little arcade. We were in an arcade last night as well. 
up by the disco, which the girls absolutely loved. Um, we've got about 20 minutes until our boating, and it is drizzling a bit still. So I think we're going to have a little go in here. Looks like they've got different arcade things as well from the one upstairs. So this will occupy us. So we've just done a press penny Centre Park special if for £1.50. No. Casey went for the little like surfy guy, which is cute. We're going boating. The rain stopped, thank goodness. And um, we're just going to get kitted up. I'm going to put my bag away in the lockers that I provided. I don't know if I have to pay for these yet, but it's what it is. I can't take this big old beastly bag on there. Are you excited to canoe, my darling girl? Yeah. Yeah. We went into the like human dryer in the swimming pool, got the kids dried off, and yeah, we've come to the sports bar to get a bit of lunch. We've got half 11, so it's quite an early lunch, but we've got the owls just after 12. So, we're gonna get these kids fed, watered, and ready to meet some baby owls. All right, lunch is done. I didn't actually film in the sports calf because we did that in a bit of a backwards funny way, literally. They weren't serving lunch till 12, and it was 11.30, so Penelope had some breakfast bits. I had to go to the shop and get Paisley a Derrily Lunchable for hers because she didn't want breakfast bits. I had a toasty from Starbucks and we all reconvened back at the table. But yeah, their lunch menu does look really, really nice. So next time, we're just measuring our wingspan by the looks of it before we go down to the baby owls. So this is actually nice. How big do you think the baby owls' wings are? Uh, the babies will be tiny, tiny. Yeah, 12 o'clock we've got the experience with the baby owls. It's just me. Laura and the girls and I just saw a beagle guys and gave it a little cuddle now I really miss my dog at home <laughs> he's all right he's with my nan but I miss that old hound Paisley's taken my oversized shirt jacket you're like a scientist baby going to the lab <laughs> come on scientists let's go do some experiments experiments expelliarmus right we are ready for some owls have you got a book there as well Picture taken with that. Oh wow! She's, uh, <laughs> she loves to mess my hair up. It's what she does. She does Did you feel day. the strength you know of those she wings? Makes the fan in the summer. Cute. Oh. She like. Hello, darling. She's an orange. She is an orange eye now. Do you remember what that means? No. That means that she will have her dinner at dawn and dusk. Very good. Even if I go. was to chuck a big mouse in there with Sarah now, she wouldn't eat it because it's oh. not her time. That's clever. Hello, Penelope. <gasps> what do you say? Good girl. Sarah, just oh, hello. Hello, mate. Hi, handsome. Okay, it's a little bit later on, and Rob and I are just chilling in the lodge right now because. The girls have gone to the Chocolate Chef Academy for three hours. And what I will say, guys, is that the whole check-in process for that was really impressive. Like, you had to have a code word, you had to do an online form for, like, if they've got any allergies or anything like that, which I know is standard, but it felt secure and it felt, like, like trusting. Like, I didn't have an issue leaving Paisley there. It felt very safe and well-led, so that's good. Um, they're there until 4.15 and then we go back and I think it's a little show that we get to watch and they bring some chocolate out as well which is super fun and yeah Laura and Paul have gone to the spa we didn't decide to do that today um, we're not really spa people Rob and I so we've been tidying up the lodge a little bit 
and in a minute we're just gonna go do a last little afternoon of exploring around kill some time and just have a nice walk because it's just nice to be in the forest and breathe in like the forest air is lovely so that's what we're gonna do and have a look in the gift shop probably as well and then we'll be over in the village ready to pick paisley up and penelope's parents are meeting us there plan of action from there on forth is that Pacey's doing the build a bear thing and then we're all going swimming rob had an incident yesterday didn't you mm. silly silly boy decided to drive paisley's scooter and fall off it because paisley fell off it didn't want it anymore so rob got on it and penelope said come on, rob let's have a race and he tumbled and has cut his hands and stuff so he's not swimming conveniently we're swimming when the england's game's on aren't we we are so whether or not he threw himself off the scooter reward. deliberately so we could watch the england game i don't know we'll never know we'll never know sabotage scooter sabotage yeah the girls are loving having the scooters it's been really really good and yeah that's it so we need to go to the village now and have our exploration i need a drink because I've drank all the cans of coke and stuff I bought with us and bottles of water and stuff. I don't really like the tap water, so I need to go and find a drink of some sort. Hopefully see, good morning Mr. Magpie, how's your wife? Hopefully see some more monk jacks and stuff while we're on our way down there. The baby deer that we saw, I can't remember if or not I filmed it, we saw a tiny, tiny baby deer, so tiny. Um, he was adorable, I'd like to see him again. I think we might, should we walk up towards the spa? Just have a look at the outside, because I've never even seen it. And I think there's a restaurant up there as well, not that we need feeding. We've got um, a chicken dinner later that we're gonna cook after swimming. Then we're actually off today. Um, we are here on a Friday to Monday break, but the girls are back at school tomorrow. We've all got work, like we didn't book holiday because the girls had to be in school. So we'd have had to leave at like seven anyway. So luckily on Friday, they had a teacher training day. That's why it really worked out for us. But we're gonna go home later on tonight, gonna get my dog who I can't wait to see. And it's been so good. We've already been saying, like, we're probably going to come back next year on the same weekend because it's just lovely. Absolutely loved it. It's been refreshing. So many fun activities to do. And yeah, still some more today. So I'll stop rambling. We'll go have some more fun and I'll catch up with you guys later. Just looking over this bridge, Mr. Monkjack's here. And it's the same guy who was at our lodge on the first evening. We could tell because he's got a poorly eye. And he's actually the only um, male we've seen, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Oh, baby! Do you like that snack? So we've taken a walk up just to have a look at the Aquasana Forest Bar. Well, from the outside, we're not going in or anything, but I just wondered where it was and what it looked like. It's here, and it looks like this. And a lady just went inside with a Walt Disney World Spirit jersey on from this year, because I recognise it. There's a golf course over there as well. I think there's a pub around this bit as well. Should we take a little stroll down? Back down that way and then head down to the village from there. Yeah. yeah, I found a little pub. There's a lot of people about, so I won't feel much. But it's called the Foresters Inn. It looks really quite cute out here. This is actually quite close to our lodge. Lovely, lovely lake. Can you see feathers like just coming through? Mm -hmm. Your feathers are coming. You're losing your flag. You're becoming a big goose. Hey, yeah, our sweetheart. Well, oh, that mummy duck's trusting. It's okay. I'm really nice. I won't hurt your baby. I won't hurt them. Hi. Hi. Oh, my <laughs> Looks like they're actually building some brand new lodges here up by the spa. This would be quite a nice area to be because you've got like your own little restaurant out there. If you're right near here, this is where we turn into us. We're so close. We just took a long way around, didn't realise. We're super close to our lodge here. It's a shame we didn't plan a meal at that pub, but next time I think we're in this area. We'll definitely have to check that out. That looked really nice. Got back down to the village. And I swear, guys, when I was here years ago, when Pacey was little, this Las Iguanas used to be the pancake house, which is now around by the beach. And I don't know if I've made that up in my mind, but that's where I could have sworn it was. But yeah, it's lovely down here. I don't think I've really filmed much around here because we've always been on our way somewhere. There's Park Market. We need to go in there in a second. Um, or in a rush or just with our friends, so. I'll show you a little bit around guys if you're interested. It's really really lovely. So in terms of shops we've got just kids, so it's like toys and stuff, souvenirs. You've got the storeroom which is nice like knickknacks, bits and bobs. I went in there yesterday, some lovely things. 
And then you've got the Piazza. Do you want to have a look in here, Rob? We haven't been in here yet. Just where Cafe Rouge, Bella Italia, and the Indian restaurant are. I don't know if there's anything else in here. But we'll soon find out. It is literally those three restaurants by the looks of things and a little stage. I wonder what they do on here. Quite nice in here, isn't it? A Butlin show. A Butlin show. <laughs> Not a Butlin this time. I don't think there's any shows or anything like that here, but oh, it's cute. And then just outside of the piazza, we've got Huck's, which is like an American bar and grill. I have eaten there before. That was really nice. It was a lot of years ago, but I imagine it's still nice. You can't really go wrong so much with that kind of food. Um, open until 9 p.m. most nights, which is good. Yummy. Yeah, and then round the back, just opposite the lake, we've got the pancake house where we did want to go for breakfast today we said to the girls should we go to the pancake house should we have a nice center parks celebration breakfast and what did they say no no, no. <laughs> neither were the boys too keen so fine we didn't have pancakes this time but it's all right we're baking sandwiches i cannot believe our luck earlier with those boats honestly how bad was it that rain terrible it wasn't spitting it was pouring was and it, <laughs> you've got your t-shirt on i've got a little my t-shirt on the sleeves was a different color yeah it was like yeah because we had light things on so we had warmth around like our torsos but otherwise oh God. my legs are bare literally we were so <laughs> we were so wet but it was like it's like a cool memory it was fun the kids were freezing, just shivering like. Yeah. Oh. It was like you I'm done. I'm glad I did it. But I'm glad I did one, it. One lap and I was done. Well, we did a few laps though, didn't we? we I did, liked the cat canoe. That was good. Two laps. Um, next time we might get a more relaxing boat because there is one you can just sit in and like. I don't know if it's electric or what, but they're just going around yeah, and not. They are electric. They're not really putting any effort in, are they? By the looks of things over there. No. But it was fun. I'm glad we did it. Just wish that the weather held out for us. Should have done it yesterday. Yeah, but it was funny. Right, we're just heading back towards Sports Plaza. You obviously got the big Starbucks here, which you can get to from outside and inside here. And then upstairs there, you see where that man's head is? I don't know if you guys can see, it's just up there. But when we were sitting outside Starbucks the other day, I was thinking, where on earth is that? Like, what are them people doing up there? That's the outside bit of that upstairs bar where the disco was that we went to last night. So that's something new that I learned. And then inside we've got a swimwear shop. There's a swimming pool, it's so loud in here, <laughs> literally so loud. There's that entrance to Starbucks, a sweet shop which Pacey has been enjoying. And then just around here, probably the only shop we haven't been in is Jules. We've come up to the arcade, so we're gonna have a go on Mario Kart, aren't we? See if we can win. The girls were so good at it last night, especially Penelope. But let's see who wins. Definitely be me. Game over. Who was the winner? Game over, no Me! Oh, is he? <laughs> that was fun. It's amazing how quickly your coins go. I think it was £12 for 10 coins. But yeah, it was fun. We'll just come out to have a look around the little shop. So I think I'll look at the kids' shop and prepare myself for what Casey might choose later when she comes out of her chocolate academy and then we're going to look around the gift shop as well these are quite cute little torch pals with names on trouble is they never have paisley do they only place i've ever seen things with paisley on is universal studios in america but these are a good idea especially could have nemo yeah just standard toys really gabby's dollhouse gabby's dollhouse lego barbie i'm actually gonna be in trouble if i bring her in here later because it's all the stuff that she likes little live pets cute but lots of games if you're here and you have a rainy day or something and didn't bring any games that's quite a good idea uno and stuff you've probably got top trumps and that kind of thing somewhere as well oh that's cool odds and sods kind of stuff little bath penguin hello Bubbles. I like that thing that he was throwing. That guy just threw this thing and it landed. Let's see. No. Oh my gosh, they've got all the Minecraft Lego that she collects. She loves all this. We've got the bee house. We need the Panda Haven. She likes that one a lot. Pokemon. Wow. Harry Potter Lego and wands. 
Look, they've literally got a bit of everything in it. It's a really good toy shop. Oh, they do pins and lanyards here. For anyone who likes a bit of pin collecting and pin trading. Got a rabbit, fox, an owl, badger. Oh, I like the duck. I think I'd choose that little duck. I'm gonna head into the park market next. Just have another little look around. We've been in there, but as I say, it's literally been because we've needed stuff, so we've been grabbing what we wanted. But I haven't had like a browsy look. I do love a browse. I love a supermarket. <laughs> First thing we've seen when we come in is these barbecues. Two for fourteen or eight pounds. As I said, we've got ours from Home Bargains for one ninety nine. These are bigger. You might only need one of them. They probably are better, aren't they? But ours were That's adequate. The of two of ours. They've got the um, big marshmallows to do roasting as well. S'mores kits. Love that. All your barbecue stuff. Lovely, lovely. Laura had one of these um, limited edition Friends donuts the other day. Said it was actually really nice. I just can't justify Krispy Kreme. Like three pounds for one. I'm sure they're lovely, but not right now. All right, what you found? Prawn baguette. Big baguette. Prawn aroonies. Got all sorts in here, sandwiches, baguettes. Paisley got the Lunchable from here earlier. They've also got like a bakery section and then the um, bacon bite section. Like, let me see if there's anything left in there to show you guys. But it's like the petrol station kind of stuff. Cheese and bacon turnovers. Reduced, £1.50. You get your freshly squeezed orange juice for three pounds into a bottle. I think that's a really cool idea. You don't see that very often. You gonna get one? Yeah. yeah. We'll do a little taste test for the oranges. Be fresh as a donut. A daisy? A donut? A daisy. <laughs> she got donuts on the mind now. Oh, here they come. That smells really good. The only thing is gonna have bits in, isn't it? Yeah. Don't do bits. Don't do bits. As I think I said earlier in the vlog, they've got everything in here, but it is all a bit inflated. So these lattes that we get from Tesco for five pounds or seven pound fifty, and that's the Tassimo machine that we have at home as well. So we could have bought them with us, but we weren't to know. It's fine. Um, but yeah, they've got tea, syrups, sugar, everything you need for your drinks. Same with medicine and things. They've got everything that you could possibly need um, if you don't bring a medical kit with you. Even toothbrushes if you forget that. It's really well stocked. The Moose Fairy. I like how they've got all the beers and even the wines already chilled because they know you just literally want to grab one and take it back to your lodge and chill. I've even got sours <laughs> for getting on it. Ciders. Paisley from the Chocolate Academy and then we've got build a bear and swimming and something I've just realised as well is that I think swimming should be in theory a bit quieter because people will be watching the football which I've zero interest in so hopefully fingers crossed the swimming pool's a bit quieter and then we can get on the flute a few times go around the rapids it started raining again a minute ago like it's not scheduled at all so I don't know why the weather's crazy today but it's, it's fine it's neither here nor there yeah, and then dinner, which is chicken schnitzel. We're gonna do a bit of cooking in our lodge, so I'm super excited for that. And then we're off. Look how cute he is. Can I see him, darling? Special bear. We chose him earlier, didn't we, and put him aside. But this is cute, and we're the only one booked on to the teddy bear making. We've made a nice little guy called snowy we're just choosing her an outfit aren't we we're gonna go for the snow jacket or the angel costume what do we think my babe that would suit her too wouldn't it because it's white i think i'm gonna go with this snow because it's more busy okay that's a good choice we had such a fun swim. As suspected, it was super, super quiet. Like everyone must have been watching the football. Even the people in the cabanas had it on. So that was quite funny. Some people were sitting in there literally watching the football. But yeah, um, both girls and Paul did their tropical cyclone. I didn't rave it this time. I'm not really one for a flume. I did do the blue flume and the green flume, like the normal sit down ones. So I did well for me. Yeah, we've just come back. We've had dinner. We had chicken, schnitzel, and chips, which was super yummy. 
Oh, thank you, darling. Edible flower. Edible flower. Um, Paisley had fun at the chocolate factory and doing the bear. And we're just going to pack up, tidy up, and head on home. Right, all empty, all tidy. I'm just doing my last checks of everything all around, but I think we are good to go. This lovely, lovely lodge has served us so well. It worked out perfectly for the six of us. If we came back, I'd definitely select this one again. So we're home from Centre Parks, as you can tell. It's actually the next evening now, and I was just editing the vlog and realized I didn't actually close it off or give my overall thoughts or anything like that, but it's fine, because it means I've had like a day to reflect and think about the trip, and yeah, we all absolutely loved Centre Parks. We're looking to go again next year already. It was so good, like, just to relax and enjoy the activities. The lodge was wonderful. The wildlife was right up my street. I loved the wildlife. <laughs> You'll have seen if you've watched the whole video. I really like the wildlife. And yeah, Paisley was a really good age for it. She's eight, so is Penelope. And it was really special that they could go together as well. So it was really nice socially and going with another family also really helped with the cost because obviously we could split the cost of our lodge and the three bedroom lodge with the en-suites was more than enough space for all six of us so loved that thinking about highlights of the trip for me i actually really <laughs> really did enjoy the boating i mean i wish it was sunny because that would have been even better but it's like in my memory like going out on that boat laughing in the rain and just being with all our friends and stuff it was it was really fun i asked pacey what her highlights were and she said the rapids in the swimming pool because they were incredible that swimming pool 10 out of 10 it's a shame i couldn't have shown you guys more of the pool in the vlog but i personally just didn't find it appropriate to take cameras in there there's videos out there if you search in youtube the subtropical paradise is it called i think there are videos out there because i watched a few before we went so yeah she loved the pool and she loved her hair braid as well if i could change anything it would be that it wasn't raining on the day we went boating and retrospectively we probably could have gone up to the boating desk and asked if we could postpone or just change our boating trip and they probably would have done it i think it says online you can change things up until like five minutes before but our schedule was so jam-packed that we didn't really have anywhere to change it to and it was all right it was absolutely fine anyway i would also have liked to have tried eating a meal in the pub so we took nice meals and cooked however retrospectively i think we all said it would have been nice not to have to cook i think in our heads we were saving money and being like forward thinking and productive um but yeah when you're there and you're on holiday it's like oh no i can't really be bothered to cook <laughs> but yeah our food was yummy anyway it was still really good i am aware that we did cram quite a lot of activities into our trip and you book all those online before you go pay for them before you go you don't have to book anything i mean we booked our trip far in advance really far in advance actually got it paid off and then started saving up for activities because we hadn't been in a long long time and we knew that the girls would like to do certain things and we wanted to make it special but as i say you don't have to book anything at all the swimming pool is free the park is amazing it's a really good park paisley and penelope enjoyed that a lot as well you can take your own bikes scooters like we did you don't have to spend any extra at all it's just lovely being there and walking around the grounds is nice the wildlife as i say is lovely and yeah just overall would 10 out of 10 recommend i'm going to end this vlog here i hope you guys have enjoyed coming to center parks with us if you have please do be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you real soon with some more fun content take care of yourselves everybody bye